Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna try to perform a song I've been rehearsing for the past four days. Try. Um, things will come out good. There is no try. There is no try. <laughs> this is a song that um, I wrote and collaborated with the band Alma Vertical for Puerto Rico. Uh, it's a song that is truly. This is probably my most personal song when it comes down to writing a song, um, where I probably the approach was more about this is roots, this is home. I wrote this song after a phone call with my family from Puerto Rico after the hurricane. Um, I'm not sure if you can imagine for those who, I'm sure you can imagine, but the phone call was very sad. It was between tears after the hurricane because they didn't know exactly what was gonna happen. Um, we all know that Puerto Rico went through all this, um, you know, mayhem after Hurricane Maria. So I wrote this song truly and deeply from the heart. And then Cesar Rios from Alma Vertical approached me and said, hey man, I want to collaborate with you in that song. And um, so we ended up collaborating in the song called Mi Tierra Se Levanta. And uh, I'm very grateful from the Full Sail University because we needed to record some drums. And then it turned out into a collaboration, a full-blown collaboration between Full Sail University, Darren Schneider, Brandon Egerton, Dale Rock, um, Alma Vertical, Elis Martinez, uh, Rene Flores, the group in Cuban, and uh, everybody, a lot of people from the industry who got involved in this song for uh, the, an effort. You know, honestly, when we put out this song, it was just to try to raise as much money as we could so we could send out to Puerto Rico and help them from this side. The approach with this song was basically writing it from our perspective of what we were seeing everything seemed normal here on this side but everything was destroyed in puerto rico entonces you know we were like man this is crazy Every, everything it seems to be normal here on this side of you know and over here in the mainland but then puerto rico is destroyed and things are going normal so i wrote this song deeply from the heart with alma vertical and then we locked ourselves in uh full city university uh, audio temple and recorded this song for like nine hours and then we put out the song and whatever, it's still active. So, you know, the song is still out there. Uh, it's in pretty much in every digital platform. The videos, I think it's up to like 7,000 hits at this point. And uh, so whatever comes out of that song basically goes to Puerto Rico straight up. And then now we just heard that the song, I can't really say it because there's rules to it, but it's being looked at from the biggest, um, I guess award show in Latin music, I just can't say what it is, um, but it's been considered. <laughs> and uh, it's yeah, it's just out there. And if something happens with that, I think it's, it would be awesome because then it will be it will create awareness of what we try to do with the song. So hopefully, I'll sing a little bit of it, and hopefully, it comes out good. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mi Tierra Se Levanta. In broken Espanol, you will say, "All right, we in there, both mics." Yes. De este lado todo el mundo sigue como si nada Pero nosotros que sabemos no encontramos la almohada Esto no es cuento de hadas, esto te parte el alma Qué angustia más grande para los que nacen bajo la mono estrellada No los escucho ni los veo que mi fe va muy lejos Como dijo mi que El por ciento de la paz es cero Lo que piensan los de acá No es lo que yo veo Jamás será lo mismo Cuando se está tan lejos Cabeza en alto Aunque destruido por dentro al cielo miro, a Dios le pido en silencio, porque lo siento en otro idioma. Perdona, no es lo mismo pensar en cómo estás. Me hiere el alma, pero mi tierra se levanta. Oh, 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 o
mi tierra se levanta. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 Y van los días, van las horas, el desespero es mi mejor aliado. Se alborotan los que se quitan, demostrando todos son hermanos. Nuestra agonía colectiva ha borrado todas las heridas. A ver a esa patria querida, vulnerable en sus cuatro esquinas. Ah, 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 cabeza en alto, aunque destruido por dentro, al cielo miro. A Dios te pido en silencio, porque lo siento en otro idioma. Perdona, no es lo mismo, pensar en cómo estás. Me hiere el alma, pero mi tierra se levanta. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 mi tierra se levanta. Esa canción realmente se hizo del corazón, o sea, realmente, y es difícil porque después tú escuchas a tu papá, siento dos días sin luz, toda la gente que murió, la familia, o sea, yo soy de Ponce, o so, medio mundo en Ponce sufriendo, medio mundo en la isla completa sufriendo, sí, y no sabía lo que estaba pasando, o sea, yo tuve una experiencia en donde uno de mis estudiantes, aunque no lo creas, eh, su, nom su nombre es Manuel eh, Font, él... Literalmente me envió un mensaje y me dijo, sabes que yo vivo en Caguas, eh, voy a intentar a ver si puedo llegar hasta Humacao, a ver si puedo encontrar a tu papá. Y me llamó a las 8 de la mañana, entonces se tiraron por Humacao y, mano, como en las películas, él llegó con un pana al barrio donde vive mi papá en Humacao y empezó a gritar, Víctor, 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 <risa> hasta que finalmente encontró a mi papá y mi papá pues, se ha escamado a los puertorros, como que, ¿y tú quién tú eres? Pero él le dijo, mira, yo estoy aquí de parte de tu de tu hijo, tú sabes, uh -huh. eh, yo soy uno de sus estudiantes y este, pues básicamente le está tratando de saberlo usted. Uh -huh. So, you know, by the way, if you're listening in English, I'm telling the story of this song from Puerto Rico. Um, uh, long story short, I had a student who basically called me at 8 a.m. in the morning because I hadn't heard, I haven't heard from my dad. Uh, he lives in Humacao, Puerto Rico, and he was pretty... For about a week, at least, right? Yeah, for, no, for a no long more. time, more and more than a week, I didn't hear from him. And so this student called me. And he said, hey, I'm going to go with a friend of mine. I'm going to try to see if I can, you know, reach your dad. So I'll, I'll keep you posted. So at 8 a.m., he attempted to go from Caguas to Macau. And then when he got to Macau, just like in the movies, he just went around the neighborhood just yelling my dad's name until he finally found him. And then my dad was just like, who you are? <laughs> But hey, man, just to listen that he was good. And, And then I was able to speak to my, you know, to to my dad and stuff like that. So, but yeah, it's, hey, one it's thing, one of those things, man. Tomorrow, there's a bunch of people that are checking it out on Facebook 